Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to day two of leagues. I'm just here fishing some lobsters while I make the intro to this video because I don't want to show you what's in the inventory because we've been doing a ton of stuff since the last video. Speaking of the last video, you probably want to go watch that first before you watch this because I give you a little bit of context as to what's going on, what our plans are, because we outlined all of that in the beginning of the last video. Long story short, we picked the mage relic. We're going for the Tumican Shadow. We've unlocked Kandarin in Desert and I could not be more excited. So... <laughs> Let's go ahead and get on with the video. All right, there is 70 crafting. That seems like a pretty decent place to stop. That's uh, 80 league points for our first 70. I'm probably just going to get like an inventory of sapphires. We'll take this inventory of emeralds. We'll be on our way. I need to go figure out what I'm going to do next. So I'm going to go like chop 100 willows and catch some like, 100 lobsters because that's those, those are both tasks. And I have no idea <laughs> where we're going to go from here, but we're going to figure it out. Oh, um, Oh, there is the uh, 50 salmon. I'm just having the first lunch of leagues, which is super exciting. Maybe it's not that exciting, but I mean, I, hey, what can I say? I mean, I'm easily excitable and I'm excited. So, oh, 750 total. All right. All right, everybody. I have so much fucking direction. I have like the next 200,000 hours planned out. I had a bunch of time to do all this fishing. It took forever and we're in a beautiful spot here. So that is great. We also got this medium clue on the very end there. I guess we'll, oh, look at that. Just we're already right here. What are the odds? We'll try and do this medium clue. Bro, a shooting star in leagues? I can use my iron pickaxe and maybe even not even have the mining level for it. But the reason I'm here is because I figured I should probably just buy some death runes. Pretty sure the relic makes us retain 90% of our runes. So this 200 is actually like 2000. And now we don't have to cast fucking fire strike. We can cast better stuff than that. Don't poison me, 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 hell yeah. Decided to just come to the Calphite Lair super quick, get three tasks done, Andrew Calphite Lair, cast a vast bow. Then we're just gonna kill a Calphite Guardian real quick. So let's do that, except this one's already been damaged. It fucking shredded, dude. Look at this. This is so satisfying. <laughs> We're gonna have to turn off level message ups because it's making us go so, so much slower. For what it's worth, mage is probably like the weakest relative to range in melee up until you actually get the Tumican Shadow. Then it kind of becomes the strongest. So I'm sure there's like all kinds of other people who are just like hitting like 30s with like a D sim every two ticks or whatever. And that's probably way more cool looking than what I'm doing here. We are in it for the long run and one day we'll probably probably be even cooler than all those guys who picked melee today. All right, thank God. There actually is a task for mine, the shooting star. I guess that one can be kind of annoying to go for, presumably, but we got lucky, just happened to spawn right there. All right, we are about to launch our construction level into the stratosphere. We're just doing the uh, daddy's home quest. So we're already up to level 19 from one. Level 24, handsome coins, beautiful. Ooh, look at all this. That's great. I didn't know we could be getting that. So now we can teleport directly to the house and essentially just get like probably five more construction related tasks completed. And now we have the construction level to pretty much fully deck out the uh, Fossil Island Museum Camp. And that got us all the way up to 40 construction. So we can now we do even more construction tasks. That's what you call a positive feedback loop. Yeah, I figured while we're here, may as well just unlock the uh, mycelial network. Loki does love his mycelium. We're going to continue the construction grind momentarily. We need to do this first though for our plans to work out. This is the only way for me to get access to Eyes of Newts. So we probably never want to come back to the shop if we can avoid it. We're going to need this Eye of of Newt in the Tower of Life in just a little bit. And yeah, while we're here, I guess we should probably just go kill a blue dragon because we're going to get a couple tasks for that as well. Here we go. Kill that boy and bury his bones. That'll be two tasks. We also need to make full blue dragon hide, which we can do with our fucking 82 crafting. So I guess I'll just kill a bunch of them. It'll be nice for some free prayer XP as well. Also, this is the first time I've ever actually done any extended combat with the mage relic. It's like kind of bad because of the one tick casting animation. You can't move between casts and maintain your two tick attacking like the blowpipe for example is a two tick attack weapon and you can walk in between attacks but it's not working for us which is not good i don't know if charge stabs maybe are going to be different i feel like they will but if they're not then fucking majors got scammed i guess we'll see what happens with that for the tower of life quest because you have the fucking fairy ring thing you just teleport downstairs instead of having to walk downstairs and it saves like 10 seconds you have to do this like five times so it saves like a whole minute on like the 10 minute quest but there it is completion that xp is not that good <laughs> I don't know why I thought it'd be higher, but it is a league test to do that, so that's great. We're gonna kill a sword chick for the diary. 
And then here's where the Eye of Newt comes in. We're going to kill a Newt Roost, which is a Newt with a chicken. And to top off this little construction grind, we've now got the construction level to build an Oak Larder, which is a League task. So that is great. 42 construction. And yeah, I think our GP stack's getting a little low. So I'm just going to uh, get it back up to a higher amount so we can do some more stuff. All right, well, that was like 20 minutes of gem making. We got from 70 to 80 crafting. Absolutely amazing. 233k to our name. Just like last time we left here i'll probably just do one inventory of sapphires just so we have some sapphires and yeah that'll be enough to get us pretty much everything that we want in the short term it's kind of crazy i just realized we can actually get like every z knight uh jewelry basically uh since we're 92 crafting with our boost so that's just like crazy that we could if we're 69 slayer we can get a tormented bracelet like right now that probably would only take a few hours to get that not even an hour honestly if i went and grabbed an ibbins or something or started barrage slaying it's taking a while to get used to having banker's note because it's a brand new item but I think I'm finally getting the hang of the cycle here. I just need to get 100 unpowered orbs for a league task. All right, so we just got like 10 tasks related to this cat so right over here entering the city. And now we need to talk to the cat for a task. Everybody always asks, where are you, cat? But it's never, how are you, cat? So how are you, Alfredo? He says he's good. That's just great for him. I love that for him. Alrighty, friends, would you look at that? We're at 110 agility arena agility tickets. I just finished editing the last video, and this was a chill thing that I did during that time. These tickets here will get us 240 league points. It'll be my first ever elite league task completed, which gives 200 league points. So that's amazing. We also got from like 40 to 56 agility, so nothing crazy, but we should probably get at least 70 i would hope when we turn these in in just a sec first we want to buy the snapdragon so i guess we'll just do that real quick there we go and now 100 tickets turned in 288,000. wow not even level 70 i guess that's fine between the varak course and the sears village course we don't really have any options anyway so this is kind of perfect to get us up to that level we're gonna have to do the 2000 ape agility course laps soon and the fail rate's really high up until you get like into the 70s so that's just a nice thing to sort of get out of the way plus there's a few agility related tasks that we can do now also i was doing a bit of theory crafting while i was in there for so long and i actually came up with a way for us to get to the next tier in only about a couple hours and I will start on that right now. Blow 100 orbs for 200 points. I would blow so much more for so much less. And the other trick that's up my sleeve is that we're going to go get some infinity boots because with the minigame points multiplier at times three, it brings a three hour grind down to a one hour grind. But now that I'm actually thinking about it, that grind is about to go down to a 36 minute grind once we get our next tier. So I guess I'll probably just hold on to that for a little bit. Those are going to be our best in slot boots. So like, like, we're gonna have to do that anyway. May as well do it in a shorter amount of time. But luckily, I did find a couple of hard tasks that will get us the same amount of points, so let's get to that right now. Jagex decided to make this task a hard task. You fill the cray with bananas. <laughs> I think it's to like reimburse all of our childhood hours that we probably spent filling this crate that was like effectively like fractions of a GP per hour. <laughs> and now we're extracting the rewards from all the fruits of our labor finally all these years later. I have no idea if this is going to work. I feel like we're about to get comboed the fuck out, but it's a hard task if it does work. Hey, it worked. Would you look at that? And this will just be super easy. Relocate my house to Polnivnich. I was supposed to do this earlier, but I just forgot. That's great. And there it is. We are now relic level five. And Leagues has only been out for like 16 hours at this point so that's pretty crazy i'm by no means like setting any records or anything but i don't remember the other leagues going this fast um the choice is kind of obvious for me essentially i'll just go through them kind of quickly infernal gathering you would take this if you took endless harvest because it auto cooks your fish auto smelts your bars and auto burns your wood and also gives you a bunch of crystal equivalent trailblazer themed tools obviously uh we're not going to be picking that that brings us to number two treasure seeker this one is kind of like maybe a contender for something we should pick way more clue scrolls way more loot from clue scrolls just everything clue scroll related but the one that i kind of have to pick because i'm going to be going for the imbued heart for my tumikin shadow is bloodthirsty superior creatures have a one in 25 chance to appear which is insanely good um a couple other things with superior creatures that are just buffed um we'll get more into detail and that's in the future but for now yeah i'm just super fucking pumped we're also getting the xp multiplier boosted from eight times to 12 times our minigame points received are boosted by five times instead it three times i'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger on this we are doing bloodthirsty and my voice keeps like cracking because i just had an entire pizza and that's all i ate today so it probably sounds weird but 
Yeah, that is extremely satisfying. And I think I know exactly what I want to do next. First things first, uh, we're going to have to do the Rogue Trader mini quest real quick here. Got to do some Rune Doku. Should be pretty easy. This one's going to be a little bit harder. That's probably the fastest I ever did that. Nice. That's a lot of cosmics. That's great. We'll take all those. I guess we'll take these bloods too. And the souls. And the chaos even. I guess we'll just take them all. Yeah, if it's not clear, we're going to be doing some ancient magics soon enough. So those are going to come in quite handy. Awusa! Awusa sa! Bro only has 7 HP. Yeah, we just have to uh, do this as a prerequisite for the real quest that we want to do. Wait, if we talk to this guy, are we going to get a bunch of XP? Oh, nice. A lamp. We're getting a lot of kudos. Probably from all the Desert Treasure 2 subquests that we didn't have to do. Yeah, put the lamp on herb lore usually, but you need to have it in level 20. Shoot. Oh, I guess we just hold on to it and go find an excuse to train some herb lore soon. But yeah, we are doing the golem quest so we can do Spirits of the Elid and get like level 50 prayer from this as our regions doesn't really have have a great prayer training method and I beat him up with my mage. Fun fact, this is where I died on my hardcore. It should get us from level one to like, I don't know, 40 range or something, maybe 50. Hey, 51 range. All right. Yeah, that's amazing. That's also perfect because the next quest, the Spirits of the Elid, needs 37 range so we can go do that now. I do need a little bit of GP so we can buy an Ancient Staff after this quest though. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the Emerald GP method. Now that we're getting 12 times XP instead of of eight times it's going to be even better xp so we're starting at 80 crafting i'll probably just get up to like i don't know 85 or something that is about five or six minutes to get from 80 to 85 crafting oh that's the quest done that was so fast well 8,000 prayer xp times 12 is 96,000. what do we add 50 prayer as well as some more thieving xp i'll take as much as that i can get yeah i think we were at like 20 prayer so 50 is amazing it's also a thousand total level i think we're probably going to start doing some combat which i'm extremely excited for as i can't wait to start fucking barraging with the mage relic oh look i'm amongst my people all my other ancient staff havers boom there it is all right we are going to be absolutely incredible with this thing someone overstocked all of the ali morrison rune shop stocks i don't know if this is bugged but that's probably not intended so i can't even use the rune shop anymore uh luckily we have enough runes to just get by for now but that needs to get fixed really soon or people are gonna start complaining so we can cast ice rush with our 59 magic and we are gonna do our slayer task that we got a long time ago which is chaos druids i'm a little nervous that the spot might be kind of packed i have to kill 160 of them though so this could take a while this is also great because i'm gonna need to get some herb lore levels like really soon we're gonna be running fight cave attempts and i need to get some prayer potions going for that some food would be nice too these things drop a ton of herbs obviously which is like the main reason you'd kill them so that's perfect for us right now all right yeah that's the task complete we got a ton of herbs which is amazing. That'll get us from 18 to 24 herb lore. Amazing. And if we use this lamp on it, it'll now be level 33, only having made 10 potions. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. So let's see, is he gonna let us pick? He did not let us pick. What the hell? Did I like totally hallucinate that you can pick your own slayer task? Maybe all I read was that you can get a slayer task from your slayer gem. For some reason, I just like totally misinterpreted that. I'm just gonna buy one of these lanterns too, because I'm pretty sure there's a task to wear one of those when it's lit. But yeah, I guess we're killing Ankus now. All right, there's 70 magic and ice burst. I'm not gonna lie, this feels like kind of slow. We're just like ice bursting guys in single combat, so it's not like that special. And the only task that we can get that's in multi combat is dust devils, which I don't have the level for yet. So I don't know what the best thing to do is here. Maybe we go until 69 so we can kill demonic gorillas and then just like get a Z knight and then maybe go for Z or something. I don't know. Just kind of thinking out loud here. All right, there's the task complete 51 slayer. So you can choose your slayer your master okay i didn't really want to do that but i guess we're bandits man what the fuck kind of task is that do they even drop anything ogres oh okay <laughs> thanks to all our mage slaying we now have the ability to go into the wizard's guild oh hey slay 250 creatures i didn't even know we were doing that all right we are just about out of runes this ogre task actually is not that bad we got lots of herb seeds so it's gonna sort of launch our herb lore level into like the 50s probably yeah i guess we just do some more gem crafting to get more gold so we can buy more runes we gotta buy some more runes i'm just kind of paranoid that all the pvm spots are gonna be like taken up by the time it's like tomorrow so i want to get like a pretty decent slayer level tonight before i go to bed it's still the first day of leagues it's pretty late though it's like 2 a.m yeah we just spent our whole cash stack again should last us for probably another hour or so oh tazar task damn it's 
Uh, are we gonna kill Jad? I think we're gonna go kill fucking Jad, man. Switch task to Jad. That should not even be that bad, honestly. It's gonna be a ton of Slayer XP. That's amazing. Um, I mean, we're probably gonna do this soon anyway. I guess we probably want to just go get a couple of prayer potions from the Maniacal Monkeys in the Monkey Madness 2 caves. That's the only way I know how to get prayer potions at the moment. All right, there's level 80 magic. I feel like this amount of prayer potions is probably overkill as well. But yeah, we can cast Blood Blitz now. That might be enough to just carry us through the cave honestly yeah what is this like six or seven prayer pots i guess we'll probably just want to restock up on runes real quick and then yeah i guess we'll send our first fire cape on day one all right that's level 90 crafting gonna stop there this is not that many runes but i think it, <laughs> i think it'll probably be enough we're only gonna be in there for like an hour so probably even less honestly this is what our setup's looking like uh, i found out that you can actually equip the arcane grimoire and it gives you like a decent mage attack bonus and we're just going with a hybrid prayer bonus, mage attack bonus, nothing too crazy, prayer potions, and the carbines. I should probably restore my prayer before running in there because I don't even have prayer. All right, so we're back with full prayer, and I think it's just time to go in, man. We don't need anything else. We got everything we can get. So here we go. Oh, hey, there's ice splits. It's actually going to be kind of useful for this. All right, we got a southeast jad. The whole caves wasn't too bad. I basically decided to flick the whole time. No big deal. Ice splits definitely does work, though. So I'm glad we got that halfway through the cave. All right, Mr. Yad, show me your worst. There's a league task to like tank a hit off prayer. I'm not going to be risking that today, right in this second. Yay. That was pretty easy. Boom. 200 points. You'll love to see it. I really need to go to bed because it's 3.30 in the morning and I really, really don't like messing up my sleep schedule. It's about as late as I'll take it. But if we can get a blood veiled task, I'll go crank it out super quick. Otherwise, I'm just going to go to sleep. So get a Slayer task from Durido. Oh, <laughs> blood velds. All right. Well, I guess we're doing that. Hmm. Well, there's no one here. That's a good sign. Oh, all right. We already got one. Wait, is that the bloodthirsty one? The bloodthirsty relic gives us a bloodthirsty superior creature spawn chance, but I don't know how to tell which one it is. Oh, dude, back to back. What the fuck, man? Is this one the bloodthirsty one? Did we just spawn it by killing the other one? Also, I just realized we just hit 69 Slayer, so we can now kill demonic gorillas. So I guess next time we get a black demon task, we'll probably just run over there and... Because we can already make the tormented bracelet if we get it, dude. Like, holy shit. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Oh, oh, oh shit. This is this is the one. This is definitely the bloodthirsty one. So these things have their own unique drop table. I have no idea what the hell this thing is going to drop, but I'm extremely excited. Also, the bloodthirsty relic gives us slayer points for each one of these superior creatures that we slay, as you can see in the chat box, which is absolutely amazing for us. 15 quorum seeds. <laughs> wow, that is a lot of... That's crazy. Hmm. So maybe like an Iron Man utility sort of drop thing. I guess it would make sense rather than like dropping 10 dragon plate legs because then all the people who pick fire cell will be like what the fuck bro <laughs> another one this is so fucking sick all right let's see the imbued heart or some crazy weird thing 20 toad flex seeds oh okay white berries that is a nice thing to get i guess i'll definitely dig it all right i'm actually getting pretty tired so i'm probably not gonna finish this task but at least we got a little bit of unimpeded blood filled i'm hoping that tomorrow morning it'll be just as empty but i just know that's not gonna be the case so yeah i'm gonna go to sleep very successful day one of leagues and i will see you guys in the morning also nobody asked but at the end of day one we are rank 664 total level and rank 1421 league points that's probably the highest that we'll ever get all righty friends looks like we got about seven to eight hours of sleep that's all you could ask for in a league is the place full it's not even full oh 86 magic so we can cast our first official barrage nice i think if we get a bunch of death runes we'll probably start casting that but for now ice splits only cost two all right we are actually out of death runes can't finish this task um yeah i am gonna go do this three hard clues hopefully we can complete one of them maybe get like 20k and then just hopefully sustain our death rune and blood rune costs through the hard clues. Bro, look at this. The Sardaman wizard just dropped us 45 death runes. I'm literally completely out. But now I have like the equivalent of 450. So I can at least do these hard clues. This is a nice little tiny thing. That means I don't have to go earn more GP to buy more death runes right in the middle of this. That would just be like, take forever to like just do that. But there's the first hard clue completed. I am extremely excited, man. This is so amazing. Then we get the next one is a rune boot step. I need necreals for that. I don't have access to necreals. Not until we hit Zaya, which I'll probably unlock next. 84 tasks from now. So that's going to be a drop, but that's fine. Can't do that either. So I guess it's just the one hard clue. What do we get? 
Okay. Blessed God Dehyde. That's definitely really nice. Yeah, that's fucking sick. Two uniques. I guess that's all you can really ask for. Bro, all of these rune med homes are like barely helping me scrape by. All right, our first ever blood build task completed. It was absolutely amazing, as I said like a hundred times. Oh, there's the hard clue, man. Here we fucking go. What do we get? Ooh, Berserker Necklace Ornament Kit. <laughs> Rune Phil Helms TP, got the explain skirt. We're getting lots of uniques. I forget if we have boosted uniques rakes. Honestly, I don't even know. Black demons, holy fucking shit. We're going to demonic gorillas. Obviously, we're going to need to uh, train up some, some of our stats. I don't think we can use only mage. Hmm, yeah, I need to do some thinking. Let me think for a bit. All right, I couldn't help but use these limp words that we just got. But I just wanted to showcase production prodigy, like amazing traits, essentially. As you can see in the chat box, every time we make an unfinished potion, there's a 25% chance to get a bonus product so we just got like fucking 15 free strength potions worth of xp so i don't really care about the strength potions themselves obviously but it's just like a ton of xp even cleaning the herbs you got a bonus herb from cleaning the herb like oh my god dude it's so good all right so decided to just go ahead and staff bash my way to level 60 attack we were only one level away so didn't really take that long uh we do have access to candorin though which means that i can now get a dragon scimitar in between the dragon scimitar being slash and stab and the staff being a good crush weapon I can actually complete the Knight's Training Grounds at the Kandarin Camelot Castle ceiling roof thing. And that'll give us a bunch of melee stats. And then I think we'll probably be able to take on the demonic gorillas from that point so i guess i need to go make some gp for the d skim so i think we're just gonna go back to uh making some emeralds also i didn't realize it but the rune items we got from the hard clue is literally full rune so i couldn't have asked for a better first couple clues honestly all right there is level 94 crafting and 200k gp that should be the last time we ever do that because demonics are just gonna absolutely print gp and from then on we should be good honestly should be able to uh snowball that into the rest of the late stages of the account so there's our dragon scimitar. It's got to be a task to equip that, right? Yep. Dragon weapon and dragon scimitar. All right. Well, it's a good thing we got the fire cape because I'm pretty sure this is the only way we can even access a diamond on this account. We'll go ahead and buy that. And if you're wondering why I need a diamond, I am going to be bringing in a dragon dagger into the uh, knight's waves. We're going to poison it. I don't know if that's necessary, but it definitely won't hurt. So here's our dragon dagger. All right. So banker's note will make this effectively guaranteed. I don't know if we can bring in all this stuff though. We just have like infinite food and pots. Um, do we just, can we just go in? Oh shit, we're already in. Okay, well, great. Let's fucking go. I kind of forget how to do the safe spot. You just come here. I kind of realized that with my supplies, I can actually just kind of brute force this. This guy, for example, only drains your attack. So every time he hits me, I just take a sip of attack potion. And whenever I get low HP, I just eat. But this will speed it up pretty substantially. I'm just not flinching the whole time. You know what I mean? All right. There it is. That took like 10 or 15 minutes. Not too bad. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. Fucking XP drop a million XP. Once we get 60 prayer, we can use chivalry. And once we get to 70 prayer, we can use piety. But yeah, that means we are fucking ready to go do some uh, demonic gorillas. I'm extremely excited. Let's fucking go, dude. All right, I'm excited to see how many people are even going to be here. Hopefully it's not super crowded. I know that it'll probably end up being the most crowded place in Kandarin at some point. Although with the three times reduced drop rates, that means a Xenite's only one in a hundred. So maybe it won't be that crowded if everyone gets all their Xenites in like 300 KC. Oh, it's empty. Okay immediately i already know how we're going to improve this we need to bring a range weapon then we can basically just manipulate which prayers he has up with no peapots it's one kill trips but that's fine we can just uh use an altar and then last recall back in all right this is not horrible but it's not that great i think i kind of misremembered how they work every three attacks they switch attack styles but for some reason i thought every three attacks that you do on them they switch prayers so you could just do like two mage hits range hit two mage hits melee hit and then just essentially keep maging but yeah i think i just actually kind of need to invest in a secondary attack style which will happen naturally with time but this league just kind of functions in a way that that sort of thing isn't really prioritized so i think the play is probably to just keep doing slayer we'll get to 85 before too long we'll have a whip and then hopefully we'll have piety and then we'll just kind of slice through these guys so we'll cancel the black demons i should also probably extend dust devils huh i don't know how hard it's going to be to find a world for these so this could be a horrible idea but it's too late now we did it oh shit dude 202 dust devils oh my god let's fuck go man let's fucking go dude and i just remembered that one bracelet of slaughter has infinite charges with the bloodthirsty relic so we got the topaz to make that dude holy fucking shit this is crazy here we go i found it of course there's somebody here no surprises there there is a ton of league worlds though so we might be able to find a free world so let's see bro this is so fucking sick look at this oh my god this oh my god i just can't believe we are doing this this is so efficient i love it so much Ooh, our first ever bloodthirsty choke devil 
Ooh, dude, 123 snape grass. That means we can fucking make our rainers. Hell yeah. Dude, this is so fucking efficient. Oh my god, I get it. Feed 10 superior creatures. I don't know what the drop rate for the imbued heart is. It's probably something like 1 in 500 from these superior guys. So maybe on leagues, it's like 1 in uh, like one in 125 or whatever. Oh my god, another fucking bloodthirsty thing, dude. I can't, I can't handle this. This is so good. Hey, 1250 total. Let's fucking go. Bro, we're halfway done with the task. We already made 200k, so now I can refill the runes. Oh, dude, I want to stay here for the rest of my life. Oh, <laughs> our first ever superior unique. Well, actually, I have no way of knowing if that's from the superior, but the dust battle staff is a superior unique, but these guys just also drop it because they're dust devils. But theoretically, we just rolled on the imbued heart and did not get it. That's all right, though. I'm not in the least bit deterred. 14 fucking rainer seeds, jackpot. We just hit the motherfucking jackpot, dude. 14 rainer seeds. That's infinite prayer potions. Thank God for the fucking insatiable, bloodthirsty, dust choking ass, deep throat. Ooh, nature talisman. I actually saw Wooks going for this at the Abyssal Leeches. Um, there is definitely some good stuff to be done with that, since the Kurumj altar is one of the few altars we have access to. Especially with Banker's Note, once we get a big stack of pure essence from various PVM excursions, we'll probably make a lot of nature runes. Normally something that's not very good, but for us is actually pretty fantastic. There is 80 Slayer, as we are coming up on the end of the task here. Here. <laughs> I just can't take this big ass fucking smile off my face, dude. This is so fucking efficient. God damn. And there it is. The Slayer task completed. 200,000 Slayer XP. Yeah, we just killed 300 Dust Devils. According to the loot tracker, we just got 200,000 raw GP. Like, Jesus Christ, man. This is definitely infinitely sustainable. If we could just keep getting Dust Devil tasks, I would like get on my knees and head on over to Jagex headquarters right now. Whoa there, buddy. That's one too many steps for you. I'm gonna have to cut you off until tomorrow. So if you want to be notified when tomorrow's video drops feel free to subscribe liking the video is a great way to support the channel and as always guys thank you for watching stay safe out there take care until next time i love you bye